can see I made a path going into the village and I've started growing some wheat outside. It takes a lot of wheat for these villagers to give to each other to actually make bread and to eat, so on and so forth. So, and um, on this episode, I actually want to go exploring. And I want to go exploring this way. So, without further ado, we are going to go ahead and go right in. And I do think I've got the correct... Yes, I have the correct armor on. So we are going to go. I've got half a day. As you can see, I planted a cactus. Cactus or cacti? Cactus. Um, so that um, I can actually get some dye from it. Because as I said, I wanted to have a room full of color with the sheep. So, well, let's get going. Huh. I feel kind of lost. I thought there was a jungle somewhere around here this way but i guess i was wrong <clears throat> let me get up and land and see what i can find when it's daytime hey everyone and i got myself a friend a little blue parrot so we found ourselves in a jungle it was actually past that biome <clears throat> excuse me it was actually past the biome so, I wonder how long it's going to take me to get back home. Because I want to take this uh, parrot with me. I also wanted a cat, but I forgot to bring a fishing pole. There is one around here somewhere. Oh, look. Um, and maybe I can go ahead and get some more saplings. I have five. It's another addition to my trees that I'm growing now. So that'll be cool. I think I used all my axe and everything else that I needed. So I'm going to stay here probably till half of the day. And then I'm going to head back to base. And uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, and uh, guys, I think I am very, very lost. And I am not sure where I am going, but I did find this really, really cool area. So me and my newfound friend, the parrot, I haven't quite found a name for him yet. We're going to find out where the heck we're going. And yes... Guys, the lag is real. Uh, I have a pretty good computer. I do not know why it is lagging. I'm thinking perhaps it is because the chunks are loading because I've never been this way before. So, um, I guess I'll see you guys in a moment. Hopefully, uh, I will have found my way back home. All right, I made it back into the village. I'm all excited. Um, as you can see behind me, I have uh, what it's supposed to be a little market stand for a villager if they ever go in there. Um, of course, it is going to be um, gated and they are going to be able to go in, so on and so forth. So, um, let me make some gates. Alright, it's getting dark, but I think this is what I'm wanting to do. I don't know that I'll have enough wool. I'm going to go ahead and start with the orange wool. And Bring it out this way. Uh, then we've got the brown, which will go on top. For 
fall colors. Their uh, merchant stall should change throughout the seasons. It'll be something we can decorate. I don't think I brought enough wool. All right, I did not get enough wool. Okay. All right, and here's my basic uh, <clears throat> view. The town square. You come in to the beautiful fountain. Here's the town square, and here is a merchant. He actually came in on his own. I haven't named him yet. And uh, he's got a 3x3 three three space to stay in. He can't get out, although if he was smart enough, he would open the door and leave. He got in. Okay, so. How did I make this? One, two, let's, let's go with this. Okay, so basically I started here. And I brought it out to here. Just go ahead and make this for you right here. Because I wanted to. I thought that would be neat. Okay, so. Back here. Darn it. I think I put these too close. Do I have it? Yeah, I've got an axe. I have an axe. One, two, three. So we're putting it right here. I believe this is my own design. Uh, I don't think anyone else has a design quite like this with the, the floor in the way that it is. And uh, I don't think anyone else has used stairs. Now I could be wrong, but, um, cause I've seen a lot of the, the tents and merchant uh, things, but I, I think, hmm, how is this one done? I think I did this, um, Okay. My own style. And then we just do this with the flooring. Every other different color. It's like a little pattern. All right. And then back here I'm gonna put one of those and a gate of course so they can't get out from the front they can get out from the back and the back only um, and then at these corners we're gonna want them about three high Make a good jump there. One, two, three. Uh, uh, there we go. Got it. One, two, and three. One, two, three. And now I'll need, well, I don't need scaffolding just yet. I used, huh. Be a little bit too close. Won't be too close. Ah, maybe it's okay. That's why we put it two away. It's fine. I didn't want it one away. I wasn't thinking about that, actually. But, you know, we'll deal with it. 
If it rains, somebody can go under there. Now the door is wood. That's fine for now. I'm not worried about that. And it doesn't look like we're going to have enough yet again. But you see the idea, right? Because I will have one that I'm going to need. Gonna have to go down here and get this. Boom. And we'll have just enough orange, but not enough brown. It's okay, at least I have the brown for the fall. Because, you know, the town's gotta have a fall festival somehow. Let's go ahead and put it up like this. Oh, I'm gonna need two more. I will need two more wool, but I mean, you can see how it's gonna look. These gonna be really cute. These are our market stalls. And here's what I did that's a little different, I believe. Besides just these, I bring these up by one. Now, unless they're stupid and they're jump jumping like they sometimes do, not even a zombie can get them with this. They can't climb out. Zombies can't climb in. See, I don't know why he's jumping because there's a door right there and you could go out if you want to. You have that option. And this is what I went to the jungle for. The dye. Plus, I've got a little cocoa tree right over there. And yeah, that's fabulous. Those are my two fall stalls. I really, really think that's adorable. Just gorgeous. And for Halloween, we can even change it up a little bit. Really makes this look, it looks nice. We've got the pumpkins and the hay bales. And boy, this place is really coming together for fall. It really is. Should I make more? Possibly um, two on this side, maybe? I'm thinking I should. Be neat. Plus, you know, villagers can come in. There's more doors here from the... Uh, I was working on tearing this down. But I like it. He's jumping for joy, too. He's got his own little stall. Hello everyone and this is my moment of truth. I am back and I've been working hard in my village and uh, kind of hungry there. Gotta eat some fish. Lots of fish. So uh, we'll begin. I have a jungle tree. A wonderful, wonderful jungle tree. I planted it and man does it grow tall. I mean look at the oak tree. Look at the jungle tree. Oak tree, jungle tree. Huge! It's one of the biggest trees out there. Um, also, you'll notice I have been growing lots and lots of weed out here. And there's my little scarecrow over there, my little pumpkin. And I'm growing over here too. 
And that is because I don't want my villagers trading wheat. I would rather them trade carrots and potatoes. Now, last time we were working on a marketplace. You like my little path? Well, I ended up making four stalls instead of just the one or the two. I decided to make four. Another jungle tree. Look at that. You come in here and you'll notice. Look at that. You can see the town center. All that's been cleared off. Well, you know what? Right over there, there's going to be some kind of house. So you come right over here. Here's the beautiful center of town with a gorgeous fountain that's decorated. You walk right in here. It is all ready for fall, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. All ready for fall. And it's got some flooring over here, and it's got some doors. So the villagers actually think they're little houses, unbelievably. Because this does stand as a roof. Uh, there is something over it. And as you can see, um, there's a couple in it. Brad over here. Who's kind of expensive on paper. And my little place. You could use it as a little dance floor. You know, if you want to. And look, he's dancing behind me. Do, 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 do. And so, my little house is over here. Nobody wants to be in my little house. But they do like that. But dancing again. Do, 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 do. All right. Enough of that. Saving the screenshot right there. Anyway, I have these over here. Eventually, all this is going to get torn down. That that I have on the corner with uh, the turtles, it's going to stay. It may get expanded. So, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to end up building a house for my next episode. But not this episode. Sorry about the... Uh, Shaky screen, my cat is trying to knead the heck out of me right now. My stormy cat. As you'll notice, she becomes part of my episodes as much as anything else. Anyway, I think this was a good episode. I made a lot of progress here. And if you like my channel, go ahead and press that like button. And go ahead and subscribe to it as well. Subscribe to it. Go on and do it. Anyway, if you want to subscribe to it and hit that like button, go right ahead. There's also that notification bell that's right beside it. If you'll just hit that and you'll be notified of each and every one of my episodes as they come. So, it was so nice to see everyone again and have a wonderful day. Bye!